Two local telecommunication companies are planning to upgrade their systems by installing underwater submarine cables to better connect Guam to the region and improve services overall. Docomo Pacific will be running a cable between Guam, Rota, Tinian, and Saipan. They call the system ATISA, which in Chamorro translates to increase the speed or to illuminate. According to Docomo Pacific President Jonathan Kriegel, they plan to improve their systems because of research indicating that the usage of data per person per year was 5 gigabytes last year, but in 2016 the demand for data consumption is expected to triple. Docomo is still in the planning process, but they expect to complete the project by May 1st of next year. So when we light up the first pair going from uh, Guam to Saipan next year, we'll have something, we'll have 100 gigabits a second of capacity. Our whole phone company today sends less than 40 gigabits. We need less than 40 gigabits for the whole company, cable TV, internet, your businesses, the, the mobile networks to go to the mainland. We need less than 40, just to give you a sense of roughly how much capacity is out there. So it's a lot. Meanwhile, GTA plans to build a larger cable that would connect Indonesia, Philippines, Guam, and the U.S. mainland. A contract is already in place, and they're currently in the permitting process. GTA Chief Operating Officer Andrew Gale says they expect to complete the project around the summer of 2017. We anticipate this meeting is, is you know, lower prices for capacity, uh, better, uh, higher um, throughput. We'll have an express route on this cable that'll take us uh, to the U.S., so, so hopefully lower latency as well. You know, talking with the University of Guam about in their EPSCOR program about the require the need for higher speed data to to um, to facilitate their 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 grant status, and so uh, those are the types of benefits that uh, we should be getting, similar to the benefits that uh, CNMI will be getting from the cable that um, Docomo is installing. Both companies hope that after the submarine cables are installed, Guam will benefit from more services like telemedicine and teleeducation.